killed her by water before we crossed the plantations. So we're here now at a small town in Guatape after visiting and climbing El Peñol. We actually have zero expectations on this place so we'll see how we'll enjoy this activity. The guide said we'll just walk around. So no expectations. Oh my god, this is a different hat. They are living in us. Oh, guys. Oh, coconut, guys. We're coconut. Is it good? Like you can with coconut to recover calories. So we just got this dochi de coco. And we bought it here. So delicious. Guatape is a small town with over 6,200 inhabitants. It is Colombia's kaleidoscopic pueblo, situated just two hours outside of Medellin. Guatape is a rural farming community that has laid claim to the title of the most colorful city on earth. I swear, it is one of the most colorful places I have ever been to. It is a labyrinth of kaleidoscopic streets and quirky little houses. And so the highlight for many is to simply spend some time on foot wandering the beautiful Pueblo. Just by initially judging it, the small town has really a relaxed pace of life. The name Guatape comes from the Quechua language and it means stones and water. In the past, it was called La Sella de Guatape and was found by Spanish conquistador Don Francisco Geraldo y Jimenez in 1811. Guatape is still home to farmers and cowboys but also heavily on the beaten path of tourism in Colombia and I think it's a must-see for any traveler. During our drive from the bustling metropolis of Medellin, we noticed rolling green hills in rural communities that is obviously dependent on farming and agriculture. And according to our guide, Guatape has always been this way. Around 100 years ago, the shop and homeowners in Guatape began to craft intricate zocalos along the bottom of their buildings. The frescoes or paintings on the walls are decorated with zocalo scenes. Actually, according to the locals, they started to color their houses to get rid of chickens pecking at the walls. That, combined with the proclivity of the brilliant Crayola colored paint jobs in South America, this town is now well decorated. Before it was colonized by the Spanish in the 16th century, Guatape was inhabited by indigenous people. The Zoka laws in the town depict scenes from Guatape's and Colombia's history, indigenous people, cowboys, or even as simple as what the shop sells inside. Today, tourism sustains Guatape's economy. Shops lined the cobblestone streets, restaurants of all tastes have popped up, and tuk-tuks are readily available to transport you to the various attractions around town. Our guide said this place is one of the inspiration of the animated movie of Disney, Encanto. The Plaza del Zocalo is the most colorful square in Guatape that you simply have to see to believe. There is also an outdoor amphitheater style sitting area where you can often find someone performing live music, sometimes in the afternoons or sometimes in the morning. It's really a beautiful place to just relax and enjoy the music and colorful scenery in Guatape's vibrant little square. This is also where our guide finished his tour and allowed us to roam around on our own, which is our favorite part of any tour we join, because we like our own freedom. Smack dab in the middle of town square, surrounded by restaurants and street vendors, is an impressive colonial church called the Church of Our Lady Carmen or Iglesia Nuestra Señora del Carmen. Aside from its aesthetic beauty, it seems like a great place to mingle and get to know some fellow travelers and townspeople. If you are into street photography, Guatape will definitely be an ultimate dream for you. Very similar to Cartagena, another popular place in Colombia, there are many cute streets that scream with colors. We always love colorful streets, colorful houses, and basically everything painted in colors. So coming to Guatape was a dream coming true. We mostly took indefinite amounts of pictures. As you know, we love taking photos. <laughs> No, montame los palitos y yo te aviso para que salgan los palitos para montar los platos. Sí, claro, sí, 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 sí. Si no, para mañana en la mañana.
15 minutos, 20 Pregúntale, cálmenme. Súper, ¿qué haces? ¿Qué haces? ¿Qué haces? ¿Qué haces? ¿Qué haces? So good. Mm. So sweet. Oh my god, this is the best thing I've ever had. Is it soft? Mm, it's soft. Okay. This town is really pretty and colorful. I think this is one of the inspiration for the movie Encanto. I think there were two towns that they visited and got inspiration. Abby is helping one lady there to take some photos and videos. What can you say about that village, Javi? It's so oh, it's color. So nice. It's very Colombian. It's like you are watching the if you're if you <laughs> if you watch Encanto, you can really like see it here. <laughs> it looks like the Encanto movie. So we're here now at one of the attractions in the reservoir. This is another stop for us before we do our sailing activity. There is a beautiful church and some shops, so it's also a nice area. We were given enough time to roam around before we all meet at the boat docking area. Time to do the sailing activity, which we're very excited about. Another relaxing activity for us. You know, we love sailings. It's cruising time. Gata Bay began to change in the 1970s when the man-made reservoir was built. The emphasis on farming decreased and was placed on tourism instead. The red clay earth and deep blue water create a unique and beautiful landscape which you can see. People visited from all over to witness the twisting, weaving legs of Guatapé's reservoir. This is Pablo Escobar's abandoned La Manuela Mansion in Colombia, named after his daughter. In 1993, the estate was targeted in a bombing orchestrated by Los Pepes, a vigilante group whose acronym stood for Perseguidos for Pablo Escobar, or People Persecuted by Pablo Escobar. Los Pepes was reportedly supported by Escobar's rival, the Cali Cartel, as well as other individuals who opposed Escobar. During the attack, 200 kilograms of TNT was placed inside a bathroom at La Manuela and the detonation destroyed much of the house and eight months later Escobar was killed by Colombian National Police. According to our guide it used to have some paintballing activities in that torn building but the government has stopped it. I don't want to sensationalize and put emphasis more on this building and about Pablo Escobar because you know he killed a lot of people so that's just a story of that building.
finish our tour and we decided to just have a quick stop at Taiyaki Medellin. This is very near to our hotel and we are just chilling here enjoying the Sunday afternoon with some ice cream and yeah I'm just enjoying the perfect weather because tonight is our last night here in Medellin and we're just gonna have dinner later but I'm just gonna freshen up because we've been out all day. from the tour we just took a rest transferred some files hubby took a nap and I just check some of the requirements for our trip to Peru tomorrow this is our last night here in Colombia also in Medellin so that's why tonight we're going to have a dinner uh, we're just gonna spend the night out since our flight tomorrow is still in the, is is in the afternoon so we don't need to hurry and sleep early oops all right let's be colorful in colombia i need some haircut but i cannot do haircut here in this room because it's too dim so i'm hoping that when we arrive in our airbnb in lima in peru would have a nice slide for us for me to cut my hair and for hubby to cut the back of my hair and also we can't wait to do our laundry <laughs> all right we'll go out now decided to splurge a little on our last night here in Colombia. I mean, what did you order? I ordered arroz. <laughs> arroz chaufa. Arroz chaufa. It's like a chaufa. Oi, what's up? delicious meal. Not like expensive but it's worth it. This I am. Highly recommend eating it. I don't know how to pronounce it but gata, gata. If you say gata it's, it's something similar to a word in the Philippines. This is a nice area. We're done. And we're heading back to our hotel. We're just waiting for our bill. And we're done for the night. Time to pack again for our flight tomorrow to Peru. Yeah, 
We're checking in now. One thing I noticed here at the airport in Medellin is that they have the weighing scale. Which is mine, iced tea or cold? Where are you now? Where are you now at Panama City? We found the Starbucks. Off to Peru! And we just arrived here in Peru. Oh my god! I love it.